So, we are here at Pheasant Fest with Chromex, Head and Muscle, Mr. Flanagan. First of all, my question is, what was the spark behind the band's 2019 return? I never left. I just had to um, get the imposters out of the way and get control over the name again, which was always mine, but I'm back. I see, I see. Uh, how did you get uh, in connection with Phil Campbell from Motorhead and what's the story behind that I've, EP and songs? I've known Phil since I toured with Motorhead. I toured with Motorhead many times back in the day and uh, me and Phil stayed friends as did me and Lemmy and all of them and um, when I recorded that record I just had the inspiration. I said, you know, it would be amazing if we had Phil on this song and I wrote him an email and he got back to me and he said it would be his pleasure. So. Uh, I sent him the tracks and he went into the recording studio and he put down his leads and um, I love him. He's one of my favorite guitarists and I'm really honored and I'm very proud. I see, I see. We hear a lot of legends about the uh, New York hardcore scene. Don't believe any of them. Uh, I just wanted to ask, what's the trick behind them? How does it that it became, how it reached his status in your opinion? People lie a lot. That's how. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> uh, you got a song in Grand Theft Auto 4? Yeah, I, I never saw a penny for it. I don't know anything about it. I, no one paid me, so... Ah, I just wanted to know what's the, what's the story behind it. But there is no story. I didn't I, hear anything about it. I, I didn't even know that shit existed. I found out years after the fact. Ah, I see, I see. Uh, you published your first book in when you were nine years old. Yeah. Were, were any of your early works when you were, were young turned into any of your music work? You well, have a I mean, I, reco I recorded uh, and released stuff from when I was 12 years old and 13 years old. I mean, that's pretty young. So, I mean, there's, there's, a, pretty good, uh, there's a pretty good history of my uh, activity, you know? There's a lot of stuff available. You can get the stimulators. I was 12 when I did that shit. The first Pro Mac demos, I was, uh, I don't know, 16 or some shit like that. I see, I see. And my final question, you were the first band who made an online show during the pandemic. Uh, how was uh, this alternative way of concerting uh, in your opinion, how successful was it? How was the well, it was, it was obviously it? very successful because it got like incredible numbers of views. I mean, there was millions of people watching it, uh, and a lot of people followed after us and did the same thing. So, I mean, you know, it, it was a good idea, and uh, I, I think we're probably going to do stuff like that again in the future. You know like do some online shows when we played in London they did it that way just so so other people in other countries could participate and enjoy the concert you know you, you, you know that's the thing about punk rock you know we learned how to make the best out of the worst situation so there was a pandemic we couldn't play in front of people so we gave them a concert in a different way you you know poor people learn how to make the best with what they have and they learn how to maneuver so it was a good idea and a lot of people fucking followed it i see thank you very much my pleasure and uh riha hungary <laughs> <laughs>